Earlier today, charges were filed against the pastor of this church, 39-year-old Kelvin B. Lambert. He's accused of looking inside a woman's bathroom closet as she showered, and tonight he's charged with attempted invasion of privacy and trespassing. The convention is only two days, but the connections made here may last a lifetime. It was a tremendous sadness that flooded newsrooms across the country on that Saturday, April 7th night, when Mr. Mike Wallace peacefully died in a Connecticut care facility surrounded by his family. Services just wrapped up at this church here, but as one church goal was entering, she tells me that even with all the news, she still loves her pastor. Reporting in the studio, I'm Justin Andrews. In Crown for Center, I'm Justin Andrews. Reporting in Platte City, I'm Justin Andrews for KMBC 9 News. His longtime colleague, Morley Safer, described Wallace as someone who was never dull, fearless, and tenacious. Wallace started his journalism career back in the 1940s as a radio writer and broadcaster. In the early 1950s, he joined CBS News and later returned back to CBS in 1963 after departing from the network in 1955. Cutting the piece. Let's forget 16 minutes. You don't get he on. loved being Mike Wallace, and he loved the fact that if he showed up to an interview, it made people nervous. It's here, it's there, it's everywhere. I'm talking about social media and it's changing how we live. Well, at least for some. It's become part of our daily lives. So what would life be without it? Um, well, considering that I've had social media in my life since like seventh grade, I don't really know what to think without it. There's no denying it. Sites like Facebook and Twitter helps many college students keep up with the newest and latest trends. On the first day of the 2011-2012 school year, around 10,000 students will get a new backpack. The Kansas City, Missouri School District has partnered with Heart to Heart International to spark their new initiative, Backpacks for Achievement. Its plan is to help families with students affected by today's tough economic climate. With over 11,000 stuffed backpacks, students in kindergarten through sixth grade will have all their school supply needs. With the help from the community, students will be able to walk in their school with their backpacks on, not worried about the materials they do not have, but focused on what they should be learning. The daughter says earlier in the day her mother was looking sluggish, so she kept giving her mother water and checking on her. At around 1 p.m., she found her mother gone. I just hope that this changes something. You know, I, I would hate to see anyone else lose a life over heat exhaustion. Educational support and ways of adapting to limb loss. After this happened to me, everything changed. But learning to adapt to that change is what matters. Bringing awareness is what the Amputee Coalition of America strives for. This year, the nationwide convention finds its way to Kansas City, celebrating 25 years. And they don't want pity. They don't want people to feel sorry. They don't want to be different. They want to be just like anybody else and be able to have a fulfilling life just like anybody else. Swimming, dancing, tennis, and even rock climbing are offered for them to enjoy helping them tackle more of life's challenges. The attendees will see exhibits and be fully educated in having a fulfilling life in a place they don't feel different. That's because here we're not different. You know, if I walk into the grocery store, I'm different. I could walk into the biggest grocery store in Cincinnati and 99% of the time I'm the only amputee in there. I walk into that support group and everybody's well. The convention is only two days, but the connections made here may last a lifetime. On the 4th of July, is in jail. 50 year old Aaron Sullivan turned himself in today. He's charged with involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutors say he fired a nine millimeter handgun into the air, killing young Blair Lane. And this weekend, the 2011 National Conference Amputee Coalition is bringing 800 of them together at the Western Crown Center. Activism spree in one North Carolina neighborhood has a group of grandmothers taking crime into their own hands. Reporting in the studio, I'm Justin Andrews. In Crown for Center, I'm Justin Andrews. Reporting in Platte City, I'm Justin Andrews for KMBC 9 News. <laughs>